Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a fixed width column in elementary. So if you look at this little demo, if you look at the left side, that column is a fixed pixel width. But on the right side, we're getting some flex on that right column. I'm going to show you how to do this. By default, elementary columns are going to use percentages. So this column, for example, would be 25% wide. And this one here that has the media carousel in it would be 75%. There's three pictures here, but this is actually just one column. So how do we get it so that the left column is fixed and the right column is fluid across the different device sizes? I will show you. This is a question that came up in the elementary forums. And it's, it's not built into Elementor's functionality to my knowledge. So if I click on a column it's gonna, and I go to layout, it wants a pixel width, which is good for responsive design, but sometimes you may want a fixed width. So what did I do? All right, so first thing I did is I added a section and I made it two columns. So it, you know, click here, add a two column section. That's what I did. And then I did some styling, but what I did then is I clicked on the left column, I went to advanced and I set the class. You can set whatever name you want. I put left column for this demo. You don't need the period in the class name. And then I went to the right column and I did the same thing, right column. Now what I had to do is write some CSS for both columns. So I click on this left column, go to advanced, custom CSS, you can see what I wrote. Uh, I'll explain this. So we've got uh, CSS for desktop, tablet, and mobile. So this first bit is for desktop. And what I'm saying is, Hey, and for this left column, let's make it 300 pixels wide. Now I could change that to something else, right? 400, 500, something different, right? But I'm going with 300. And you'll notice I prefaced it here, like I already chained these two classes together. It's because when I didn't have that one, the left column wasn't applying. Now what I could do is add important like this, and that would override. So I was trying not to have to do that, but, um, you know, pick your favorite. <laughs> uh, so if you're having trouble getting your width to work, you maybe need that. And then I wrote a version for tablet. So if I go to tablet, you can see I changed the width of the left column to 200 pixels. And this is kind of a handy convention Elementor uses. They will tag their body markup with uh, tablet data or mobile. So you can basically sort of preface your styling and target tablet only or mobile so i'm saying on tablet just make that column 200 pixels and actually on mobile i'm saying make it 100 percent wide uh, and then i just clicked on the text widget and centered it using the regular elementary defaults or controls so then the right column i had to do some css math but it's not too bad so basically what i'm saying is hey look uh and you can see the right column class I want to do a, a CSS calculation. Make this 100% wide, but subtract 300 pixels from the width, where 300 corresponds to the width we set here, right? So then for tablet, I'm subtracting 200. And then actually at mobile, I'm not doing calculation because I want it to then go to 100% uh, wide. So that is the gist. If I didn't do this calculation and I just set the width to 100%, what may happen is this right column would actually push down um, to the next row, next line. I'm not sure, it, but just to be extra safe, I went with this calculation. And that really is all there is. So you just have to take the width of the left one and subtract it from the widths for the right-hand side. Now, if you start to play with margins and paddings, this may act a, a little unexpectedly, depending on the math. Um, so like, since we did set a fixed width here, I maybe would have some difficulty set, say I set a mar right margin here of 50 pixels, doesn't do anything, how about 100? You can see it's actually staying inside that, I think it's staying inside that fixed width. So it might be better say to click on this column and set a left padding, right? So if I wanted some more breathing room, I could maybe do something like that. Um, so you'll have to kind of fiddle around, but this is one way I could think of to, to get that fix with column. So hopefully this helps somebody. If you find a better method, please let me know. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more elementary how-to content. Thank you very much.